everyone, welcome to Sew and Tell. My name is Linda and I will be showing you how to distress a pair of jeans. But before I do that, I will also be tapering them and then taking them in at the waist because they're a little too big for me to start with. Um, so I'll show you how to do that as well. If you want to skip to the distressing, go ahead and click right here. If not, keep watching and I hope you enjoy it. There are so many ways you can distress your jeans. I mean, you can literally take your jeans, take them outside, rub them on the sidewalk or the concrete, and then there you go, you have distressed jeans. But um, I'll show you a few methods that I really like, and then I'll also try out a few that I've heard of, and you know how it goes. For the jeans, I actually bought them at the thrift store, and for all of you petite ladies out there like me who have a hard time finding anything that fits, my advice to you would be to go to the boys section. It was weird, but I mean, everything fits so well. I was like, oh, okay, boy section of this. I found three pairs that fit really well and I was super happy with. Yeah, so check it out. Let me know how it goes. So here's a pair I found. I just need to take them in at the waist and taper them before I start. Here are the pants on inside out and it really helps to figure out which side is the single needle seam and which one's the flat belt. For all of you that don't know, these are the two seams. So this is the flat felt seam. There is like an extra stitching along here. And this is the regular seam, where it's just a stitch going in between here, and that's it. It's a lot easier to sew up the single needle seam. Um, so here I am just pinning along that seam line to measure in how much I want to take away from the pants. After it was pinned, I went back in to trace the line and smooth out any of the bumps. Then add another line half an inch away from the original marking and this will be the seam allowance. Fold the pants in half and match up the two seams. And I'm just taking an extra step to pin the pants together, that way when I cut, I know that they'll be perfectly even. When you sew, make sure you are starting where the original seam is and I'm just blending it in and sewing a half of an inch seam allowance and also make sure to back tack at the beginning and end to secure the stitch and then do the same for the other side. After tapering in the jeans, I needed to take out two inches from the waistband. And to do that, I took out one inch from the back right side and then one inch from the back left side. And I also picked the thinnest parts in the waistband just because sewing heavy denim through a home sewing machine isn't the best idea in the first place. And when you sew, make sure you're sewing them like darts. So I started at half of an inch and then blended it out. And go as slow as you can just because you don't want to break the needle and injure yourself or anything. So here's how they turned out and they are pretty unnoticeable and now I don't have to worry about pulling my pants up every few seconds. Once I got the pants to fit the way I wanted them to, I am just using a yellow fabric chalk to mark in where I want the distress marks to be and now I am ready to distress. So the very first method is the scissors and tweezers and I'm just cutting horizontal lines into the pants about one inch apart and also staggering them. They are horizontal stripes, I know my pants are flipped on the screen so that could be confusing. But for this method you are basically removing all of the blue threads and then keeping all of the white. A lot of tutorials show just tweezing out the blue thread but for me I ran into some problems and it kept snapping and it really hurts your hand after a bit. So my advice would be to pull away the white threads. And you're not pulling them off completely, you're just pulling them away from the blue fuzz at the top. And after it gets a little knotted, you could trim that blue top and then keep going. Keep pulling on the white on both ends until the strip in the middle is thin enough to the point where you can easily take away the blue threads. For the top edge, just do the exact same thing and keep pulling away the white, but this time don't trim off the blue. I've been using this method forever and I really like that you can control how you want the pants to look. 
So I would definitely recommend this one. So method number two is sandpaper. And this is my first time trying it out, but I know it's pretty common when people are just stressing. So I expected it to work, but when I was scraping and scraping, all I got was a blue fuzz on top of the jeans. It barely cut through anything. And unless I'm doing it completely wrong, then I wouldn't recommend it. So the next one is a razor. And when I saw this one online, I was really excited to try it. But when I was actually working with it, it felt kind of scary and I didn't want to accidentally slip and cut my finger. So please be careful if you are attempting this one. And maybe it was the razor I was using, but I kept trying to shave the denim and all I got was the blue fuzz to come off. It was kind of like the sandpaper, um, just a little bit faster, but I still wouldn't recommend it just because it takes so long. So the fourth method is the steak knife. And I would really recommend using one with a serrated edge just because it cuts through the denim a bit better and make sure you have a cardboard piece or something underneath so you don't cut through to the other side of the jeans or through your table. Um, and in quick motions, just scratch the surface of the jeans and please be careful for your fingers. I don't want any of you to hurt yourselves. Um, and you can already see how quickly it distresses the jeans. It is a bit messier than the scissors and tweezers method, but if you want the job done fast, I would really, really recommend this one. Make sure you're also distressing the pocket areas, the belt loops, and the waistband. This will help add to the whole distressed look. The project is super easy to do, but it does take some time and it can get a bit messy, so make sure you're giving yourself enough time to finish it. So this is how they ended up after a bunch of cutting and tweezing, and all I have to do now is toss them in the washer and dryer. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and please let me know which methods worked out for you guys. It's around three. I ain't trying to leave out of here tonight Unless you with me Know you wanna leave your nigga behind It's around three I ain't trying to leave out of here tonight Unless you with me Know you wanna leave your nigga behind All I know is All I know is Body's calling me baby Ass is feeling amazing All I know is All I know is